In 2003, my wife Jung and I returned from living in Brunei, where I was teaching for two and a half years. When I was there, I was in a folk quartet with an Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman. Sounds a bit like the beginning of a joke. Yeah. Um, from that experience, I learned a lot of new songs. And then when I got back to Melbourne, my son arranged for me to make a CD of some of my favourite songs and some, some of my originals at a recording studio run by a friend of his. And it was the first of six CDs I produced over the next eight years. It's uh, called Axis of Evil, which is the title of the song. Um, there are 24 songs on this CD, Axis of Evil and Other True Stories, which is the full title. And I'm going to sing about half of them today, starting with a few Irish songs. The first one, um, this is a traditional song. There are many songs about recruiting officers whose job it was to induct people into the British Army uh, with all kinds of promises. And once their victim takes the king's shilling, he's trapped and can't change his mind. I like this song very much, it's called Arthur McBride. It's like a debate between a recruiting officer and a young man who has no desire to become a soldier. Sergeant Harper gives several reasons why Arthur should join the army. Then, Arthur gives his reasons why it wouldn't be a good idea. The argument becomes more and more heated until it ends in violence. The sergeant and his corporal have swords, but Arthur and his cousin have shillelaghs. You know what they are? A sort of Irish walking stick, which can also be used as a weapon if you need to. Okay, so this is the story of Arthur McBride and how he avoided joining the army. I had a first cousin called Arthur McBride We went a walking down by the seaside Seeking good fortune and what might be tied For it being on Christmas morning For recreation we went on a tramp Where we met Sergeant Harper and Corporal Crump And a little wee drummer intending to camp for the day being pleasant and charming. Good morning, good morning, the sergeant did cry, and the same to you gentlemen we did reply, intending no harm we made to pass by, for it being on Christmas morning. Says he, my fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas in gold I will stick in your fist and a crown in the bargain to kick up the dust and to drink the king's health in the morning. For a soldier he leads a very fine life and he always is blessed with a pretty young wife and he pays all his debts without worry or strife and he always lives pleasant and charming. And a soldier he always is decent and clean in the finest of clothing he's constantly seen While other poor fellows go dirty and mean And sup on feet gruel in the morning But says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes For you've only the lend of them as I suppose And you dare not remove them one night for you know If you do you'll be flogged in the morning and although we are single and free, we take great delight in our own company. And we have no desire strange places to see, although that your offers are charming. So we have no desire to take your advance, of hazards and dangers will barter our chance. For you'd have no scruples but to send us to France Where we'd surely get shot without warning Enough, says the sergeant, if I hear one more word Instantly then will I draw out my sword And run through your bodies as strength can afford I'll cut off your heads in the morning But Arthur and me, well, we took in the odds and we gave them no chance for to draw out their swords. Our trusty shillelaghs came over their heads, and we bade them take that as fair warning. As for the wee drummer, we rifled his pouch, and we made a football of his rowdy dow down. 
kicked it in the ocean for the rockin' to roll, and we bad it to tedious returning. And as for the rapiers that hung by their sides, we flung them as far as we could in the tide. To the devil I bid you, said Arthur McBride, to temper your steel in the morning. I had a first cousin called Arthur McBride. We went to walking down by the seaside, seeking good fortune and what might be tied for it being on Christmas morning.